Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There is no question that the Assad and Damascus dies if Russia does not protect him. The Damascus has stopped people from going out of the city and the Damascus it's making people fight in his army and it's making the life very hard and the men and the families don't like the life in Damascus but they cannot go out and um The Assad in Damascus had a hard time getting the men to fight for him. And Damascus, he did not protect himself from the Free Syrian Army. He needed the Hezbollah to come and protect him. And he needed the Iran to come protect him and he needed the Russia. Well, now Russia, it's very busy, and the oil, it's the most dangerous thing about all of the uh, countries and the governments. The gas in Syria, there is a gas in uh, Syria in the um, in the center of the country there is very much gas in the north of the country of Syria in the northeast there is very much um, oil there and in the north in Iraq there is oil there and these have a border with Turkey. The Americans came into the Iraq for the oil. And next they came into the Syria. And they said that the uh, Amer American war campaign in Syria, it was only for stopping the Abu Luqman group. But the... Um, they did go and take the oil. So now that the Russia is very busy in Europe, the Turkey is uh, talking about um, a new fight and using men and soldiers to fight for Turkey to attack the Kurdish people and the PKK who it's naming them terrorists and saying that with this word it can take away all of his human rights and to make him disappear. So the only problem with this is that the same people it's holding the oil so Europe is getting very much gas from Russia and the Ukraine is a very important place for Russia in the Ukraine there is maybe five oil pipelines going from Russia in the Ukraine over to the Europe. So, and in the Ukraine, all of the oil, it's up in the east, in the northeast in the Ukraine. And this is where Russia is. So all of the work of Russia from the start of his attack is in this uh, land in the Ukraine where all of his oil is.
on the northeast side. And Russia in this four months is taking this land in his control very much. So there is some important things about the gas in the Ukraine. The uh, Russia has some very big gas companies controlling all of the gas in the oil in the Russia. Rosneft and Gazprom. So these two companies have the biggest power in the country of Russia. The Rosneft, it has 40% of the Russian oil. It's controlling him, the Rosneft, one company. And the other company, Gazprom, it's a Russian company, it's controlling 12% of the world's natural gas supply. So the Russia, it has all of this big oil pipelines coming through Ukraine, going to Europe. It's got the Nord, let's just start. It's got the pipelines that's going into the Germany. And then it's got another pipeline that's going up over the Germany in the North Seas. And then it's got um, the pipeline that's going to Belarus, another country. It's got the pipeline that's going through the Ukraine into the Europe. This one's name is the Novopskov. And this one, last month in Ukraine, they stopped this pipeline. The pipeline running the gas from, you through running from the Russia through the Ukraine over to the Europe. And they said this is giving 30% of the gas for all Europe it's going in the Novotskov and that this is stopped last month in the war in the Ukraine. The war in Ukraine, it's now going four months. The news very much in the start of the war said that Russia, it's quickly attacked the gas places and the air fields where they, uh, where the airplanes go from and anywhere where there is gas, it's attack him. And the hospitals, very much there is um, talk that the Russia from day one on February 24th, 2022, when the war started in the Ukraine, the Russia started attacking the hospitals, the clinics, the maternity wars, the nursing homes, the blood banks, any place that has to do with the healthcare Russia quickly attacked these places to stop anyone from working there and to move everyone out so that if you need this, you need to go out and cannot stay here. So it was very crazy in the start of the war that in the news, in English language, they were talking very much that Russia wants to take all Ukraine, or no, it needs to take the capital, Kiev, of Ukraine in three days. And uh, any person it's saying, who thinks they are making a war in three days? It's not normal. This person in Russia, it knows very much about the war and it likes doing long wars. Who is saying three days? So when you hear this, you are very afraid, thinking, what is the uh, Russia needing to do that's make the war stop in three days? It's very, um, I'm very afraid of what it maybe will do in making it stop in three days. But he did not do this in three days. He did this, it's now four months. Four months to do a, what he is doing. So this was important gas going through the Ukraine. And then last, there got the Russia has another pipeline running the gas from Russia to the 
through the Black Sea. So Russia Gazprom it's holding 12% of the world's natural gas supply and Europe it's taking very much gas from Russia. So this is um this company it's very 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 dangerous and the oil companies are all very very dangerous so dangerous that we cannot go around talking about him or saying anything we cannot fight him what's most important to the people in this area it's just to have a safe home and to have a law of justice and to have food and the oil companies are attacking us on on this and it looks like that it's a it's a very i am so afraid that they now need fighting again about this oil and now we know the americans have control of the oil in the syria and in the iraq and that turkey it's maybe wanting this and truly the oil it's for all of the people in the country so they have food and homes and a beautiful life so we can only ask america please give us food from this money and give and let us live a normal life and have our homes from this money and we need to know how dangerous um the gas is and how important the gas is for the money and for the country and why the governments are going to be fighting for this and they are going to think that they are going to use our husbands and fathers and our men to fight for this and they are going to say if you need money to live and you need money for food and you need money for your life that you need to work in this army and fight and then they are going to tell us oh go fight over here and it's going to be about the oil and it's a very, very i am so afraid they are doing this in the world war 1 and they did this in the world war 2 but we are living in a new world now we are living in a new world we have very many things and we are smart and god help us and protect us hello akbar